Hi, I got my storage unit, but I'm waiting for him to come down. I've been waiting for a while. Um, so I guess I'll take some stuff out, but I'm ready to put my stuff in my storage. I gotta make room in my van. My goodness, I'm just shoved in here. Kind of heavy. <laughs> okay, he finally came. It's a, a five by 10, not a bad price. They said $50, but then there's this 12, you know, I knew there had to be like a couple of things that they were gonna charge me for, but it was only 29 to set it up, $29, not bad, because in Flagstaff, it was like a hundred, it was like, what was it? My, my goodness, it was like 30, 40, 50 bucks to set it up. So basically, whoops, um, and then there's a $12 um, insurance fee. So it's $62 a month, but still not bad. And it's pretty darn big. And I asked him about the homeless situation. He says, oh, if we find anybody. See, here's how the homeless come in, is what they do is they come in right before the gate gets locked. And then, and the, an office is closed. And then what they do is they leave early before the office opens so they can live in here. And I know some of you, the last one in Flagstaff, really kind of like, oh, well, why are you so, you, they're just homeless. Uh, no, it's very dangerous. I don't know if you know, if you've ever had a storage, anybody who would say that. There's nobody else here. You're the only one down there. And there's these long driveways that go around. If there's a homeless person that comes up and you're in here and they come in, you're stuck. <laughs> you're trapped so no I don't put up with um, and it's against the law for homeless people to be um, using storage units for for living spaces okay well I'm gonna get my stuff okay <laughs> Thank goodness. keep this for six months maybe even a year round because you know I always come to Tucson <laughs> that's right okay well let's carry on with the day okay it's kind of 
a tight fit. Hurt my finger. Okay. Hey y'all. <laughs> and I'm back. I'm back. It is hot in here. It really is hot. I think it's going on like 80 some degrees. So inside my van, it is hot. I look white too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, everybody else in Tucson is all tanned. My daughter's all tanned and everything. Because they've been here all summer. Me? Well, no. It started getting cold around October. So I was wearing light uh, long sleeve shirts. My new best friend. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, well, I got to get everything situated the, the storage look pretty cool huh oh i'm so glad to be here it's like you know you anticipate you're gonna do it and you think about it you start planning for it you know it's coming i mean it's no so big some of you just travel all the time but i don't i don't like to travel anymore <laughs> i just live i'm a van dweller I live in my minivan. Well, again, I've got my window cracked open a little bit so air can come through. And I put two of my fans away. I think I'm going to have to get more fans out. But I'll do that tomorrow. You know, it took him a long time to come. I was sitting out there waiting. There was a lock on there. He did, And I could have, like, if he would have given me the combination, I could have taken it off. And it said, take it back to him, right? So, but there was two people waiting for him. When I got there, there was a sign that says, I'm out on the, on the property. I'll be back in 20 minutes. I had to wait 20 minutes. So by then there was accumulation of, of customers waiting to see him. Oh gosh. So anyways, I'm glad I got my hair up. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, um, it's, it's going to be hot. It probably won't cool down here in southern you know near the border it probably isn't going to cool down till even past thanksgiving i mean really cool down it will be cold january february sure maybe getting towards christmas but until then i'm gonna be in my, i'm glad i didn't put all my bathing suits and my summer clothes away i'm glad i didn't i still got some shorts in here and some summer tops I put a lot of it away, but here, I got to get this all straightened around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these up. These are dirty. I didn't want to change my towels because I knew that I was going to be putting those big bins in and they, from, from the storage and Flagstaff, they may have been dirty on the, on the bottom. So I'm going to get this up. Oh. It feels good to be getting things done. I haven't gone to Planet Fitness yet. There's just so much to do. And then, <laughs> what? Ooh, my daughter has a whole bunch of packages that have come that I've ordered and sent to her. So I got to go get those pretty soon. Okay. dump these. I don't need these. Well, I could probably use these today because I haven't been to the gym yet. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going to feel good to get my uh, van back. You know, you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I haven't had my van for a couple days now. It's like your home is being painted or something. You know, like the plumbing. There's a plumber in there and you can't go in there. Yeah. Well, but I did have fun at the hotel, right? Let me turn this on low. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
This goes first, second, there. Okay. Come on, get in there. Get in there. This goes here, put everything back to where it goes. And then I'm going to make lunch. I'm hungry. Well, I did have the oatmeal, but I'm still hungry again. Okay, that goes there. This is dirty clothes. Do I even need this? Um, no. This one is all charged up. So here's my system with my jackeries. I hope it's um, light enough in here. This one is 100%. It's been plugged into my solar um, plug. But this one is at 86. That's still really good, but I'm going to do a switcheroo. Because these are the ones I use back here. When I'm back here. This is what I, this is that one um, cloth bin that I use for, I put my garbage in it and put my water. It just looks better than just hanging around and then I can park it up here. Okay. Dirty clothes. Alrighty. Put my jacket here. Plug it into solar. It goes through my window back here and up. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> and then this goes right here. I know it's a good thing my knee feels better because it's like crawling around on my knees, right? It does feel a lot better. It's probably like 97, 98%, not 100 yet, but this is here. Oh, I can put my watch on. Got my sunglasses on. You know, I'm going to be worried. You're going to see me in sunglasses a lot. The sun is brighter in Arizona, southern Arizona. I can't say Arizona anymore, can I? Because seriously, there's all kinds of parts of Arizona, isn't there? Flagstaff. And I don't know if it's sunny up there right now. But in southern Arizona and Phoenix and Tucson <laughs> and Yuma, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, sunshine. And it seems to be really bright. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, now I can put my towels down and then put my pillows and I'm good to go. I mean, this is what I do. <laughs> I know. You know I'm, not, I'm not naked. I just have a bathing suit top on, right? Yeah. And there were people walking around. This, this is Tucson. You know, I'm from Tucson. I don't know. You know, a lot of people walk around like this. When I was at um, the hotel, I mean, they had a uh, pool. So there were girls walking around bathing suits. Yeah. No big, no big whoop. Okay. Here. Okay. I lay this towel down first and then I lay this one down. It's going to feel really clean in here. I have to go to Planet Fitness. I have to go see my daughter and pick up my packages. It's not that she's forcing me, you know, like, oh, hurry up, get them. Get them out of our way. 
but it's just, you know, want to see her, want to see your house. I haven't seen her house. She came to see me last night at the hotel. It's kind of teetering. Ooh, I'm not, I'm all cockeyed here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, straighten up, straighten up, right? And then I have to go to, I need to hit Walmart. Oh my gosh, <laughs> hit Walmart. Maybe I'll do that this afternoon. And then, um, cause I do think I want to get a table in my storage. That way I can put things up, put my clothes up and I can go through things with, um, not be leaning down, put my clothes, you know, on the ground, things like that. Yeah. And I can still store things under the table. So I'm going to go to Walmart and pick up a table. And you know, when I'm camping, I can use that table. Oh yeah. Well, exercising today, but I've been getting my exercise. Oh my goodness. Feels like my van is back. Woo! It's exciting to be able <laughs> And the trip is done. I could feel the extra weight in my van when I was driving. Oh yeah. It was heavy. But I figured all my bins and the stuff in them, the bin stuff and the stuff in them equaled like um, second row seats, one, two. And then I had those other two bins, seat three, seat four, barely. And some of the other stuff that I carry, it's like a couple passengers sitting on them. So I'm really not carrying that much but it feels good to get some of that weight out so I can save on um, just wear and tear on the engine and yeah I mean it, it lightens the load I think that would be good hello hello Ooh, hello <laughs> put these weights down here you straighten anything else yeah this is looking poor put them right here the next time I go out I'll do that I've got my like I always tell you I've got my bucket and my pee bottle sit on the front seat and then if I go to drive once I start driving I just sit it right here and then when I come back here again put poof you know like boop boop I'm excited to be here Ugh. Oh yeah, you know, while I'm here in Tucson, guess what? Yeah, water. I'm replenishing my fluids. Okay. <laughs> Replenish yours too. Okay, I'm just gonna make a lunch. It's gonna be so simple. Let me just tell you about it. Um. I'm going to make a, I might do the hobo lunch. Well, hmm, what should I eat for lunch? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to eat something. Even if it's just I open up a tuna package and put some vinegar to flavor it and spoon it out and eat it. But yeah, I need, I need some protein in my body. So thank you all for being with me today. Uh, this is all a process when you move to a new area and it's exciting it's kind of relieving I'm relieved to be here I have family excuse me I have family and friends here and uh, hey Rhonda Rhonda's here so we're setting up a time to meet up because I, I think tomorrow's still going to be kind of busy tomorrow. So, but maybe she'll let me um, do a band tour. Ooh, yeah, I got an itch. But I've got me trusty claw. Oh, wow, that feels good. You know, when you got that itch. It's hard for me to put lotion on my back. Okay. <laughs>
You better be good. <laughs> you know. You went to Catholic school, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Got the neck gaiters, right? Neck gaiters. And, in fact, I'm going to change my neck gaiters. I don't know what I'm like. I got to start. We're looking more summery here. It's got to be a summer thing, right? Right. Oh, boy. I know just what I want to. I want this one. These are so nice because... You can put them on, it doesn't, not that my hair's already messed up, but I like to put it on. Oh, yeah. better, right? <laughs> okay, bye. Mwah. I love you guys. Till tomorrow, new stuff. I'll take you with me. Come on, man. Let's go.